Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how we can use and define custom shapes inside of Photoshop. So, to actually draw in a shape in Photoshop, you come down here to what's by default the rectangular tool, and you can change this to the custom shape tool. Now when you're in the custom shape tool, you're going to have one of many different shapes that you can draw from. And if you click over here, you'll see the default shapes that exist in Photoshop CC 2018, including arrows, music, notes, copy feet, and copyright symbols. So when you find one that you like, you can simply select it. Make sure that you have the colors you want to draw the uh, shape in, select it in the foreground color. And then you simply drag the shape to the dimensions that you want, let go, and you hit OK. And then your shape's going to be created. Now, that's how you would create a shape that already exists, but in order to define a custom shape, we need to use the pen tool. You might notice that when we do stretch these shapes out, it's actually conforming to a path. You see all of these path points here, the little blue squares? Well, we can create our own shape path and convert that into a custom shape pretty easily. So next we want to go over to the pen tool, where we'll be able to create a path for our next shape. Um, I'll create a new layer for this path, and uh, let's go ahead and start defining something. So I'm going to make a very simple shape here. I'll just kind of create a diamond here. I'm not really worrying about getting the dimensions exactly right. So once you have the initial shape how you want it, or the path for the shape rather, we simply right click on the path, and you choose define custom shape. So when we save this as a custom shape, I'll just call this one diamond. You can see it does need a little bit of work there, but the general concept stays the same. And once you've defined that custom shape, you can now go down to the custom shape tool, and you'll be able to find the shape you just created inside of the drop down. And now I can create these diamond shapes using the tool as much as we want in any size that we want but conforming to the same basic shape no matter how big we create it or in which width or height dimensions we create it with. So that's basically how you use custom shapes and define your own custom shapes to use in a nutshell. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future Photoshop content.